Hello, I'm Patrick Walker, Chief Instructor at Defense Mechanics. I recommend the laser program to my students to help with their dry practice. It helps them become more engaged and encourages them to practice more often. Now, today we talk about one of my favorite drills uh, using the laser program. That drill consists of two shots to each of the three targets, a mandatory reload, and then two more shots to each of the three targets. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how we're going to address some of our training objectives. I'll show you how to set up this drill. And lastly, I'll show you this drill being run inside the laser software. This drill requires the laser program from laserapp.com or L-A-S-R-A-P-P.com, uh, three USPSA style targets like the one shown behind me, or if you have a smaller training area, you can download a third size USPSA style target to be used instead. And lastly, it requires a CERT pistol from Next Level Training or a regular pistol with some kind of self-resetting trigger um, in conjunction with some laser ammo uh, so you don't need to manipulate the slide between shots. Now, three things this helps our students do and develop. Uh, it develops their confidence um, in their firearm skills by using a timer to induce stress. We use a part time in this, in this drill. Um, and by doing this, they're able to see and record their drill times and see their improvement. Now, it also helps them develop their marksmanship skills by showing them their first shots on target as well as their shots after the reload, because sometimes that can be more of the difficult with those follow-up shots. And third, uh, a mandatory emergency reload to help them develop their mechanics and their manipulation skills. All right, let's show you how to set up this drill. In this drill, you need to draw four target zones one for each of the targets, as well as a special target zone number four, which we will change to a special purpose of clear and continue shooting. This will make it easier for us to shoot that zone to reset the drill without having to touch the keyboard. Next, we will make sure we have a random start with par, as well as a par time that's set up for our skill level. Then go up to settings, Make sure you have a start delay between one and three seconds. Make sure the reload mode is on. Choose the options of call for a reload every six to six shots. So every six shots, it will call for a reload. And that's it for the setup. Now we're going to show you what that drill looks like. Make sure your reload indicator in the lower right hand corner is set to six by clicking on it and then start the drill. Here we go. Shooter ready. Stand by. All right. Now we've done all of our shooting. We can look at the targets themselves and see where our groupings are. And then if you click on the number of shot, the for instance, shot number one, you will show it as the green arrow in the center or the green dot in the center here. Same thing with number three should be the green dot on our second target for the first shot. And then we can go and evaluate our reloads after shots after the reload also.